Oh, well, no, because our intro is typically something funny. But do we have something funny to say this week? No, because I'm sad because I just finished that show. <laughs> All right, well, then let's just roll credits. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Aaron, one of your hosts. I'm joined with, by my co-host, Tommy. Say hello. Hi. Hi. No, <laughs> <laughs> Today, we are catching up on Dynasty. Uh, episodes five. Six through 11? Six through 11. Okay. I knew you, you had to catch up. I've watched it yeah. weekly. <laughs> so this is just catching up with Tommy. No. <laughs> All right, my yeah, first... we're officially halfway through the season. I know, and it's about dang time because if they don't sh- say something about who's in that coffin, I totally i i seem to always forget about that coffin thing. So every time I saw it this time, I thought of you. I was like, oh, I it is <laughs> because they only even show it at the beginning of each episode. Like if each they episode don't. started with a character, them adding a character, I'd uh-huh. love it. I'd be fine. This it's like, you know what? We need to have some suspense. Let's just boom. Because I feel like it's going to be a cop out and it's going to be Steven that's dead. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> I mean, they don't use them anyway. I never even thought of that. Now I'm saying <laughs> again. <laughs> For the viewers who, if you haven't listened, we the episode before this dealt a lot with grief. So that's why Tommy's sad again now. <laughs> But that's just that's really what I think it's going to be because Kirby would be too like that's too obvious. I don't think as of right now, the two suspects I have are maybe three that Fallon would care about are Blake, um, Liam, because they kind of set it up that he's doing something dangerous, or crystal but i feel like that's too obvious with the tumor see that that's why i feel like it's gonna be steven i never even thought of that now i'm just upset because <laughs> the other ones are just kind of so obvious well adam sat down next to her mm-hmm. they are bringing up people on one bite like yeah but not every time. episode not every episode but they did one was adam and then um sam sat behind Sam her. just came the last time so we're supposed to find out in episode 13 who's in the coffin yes who's um, we are at and really i am counting down the days and i feel like <laughs> i'm gonna be let down uh just i hope you're wrong i hope i, I thought too. about steven i'm like they don't even mention him and if they just kill him off i'm gonna be pissed well i mean come, it wouldn't it'd be typical of them I mean, I love oh, my dog. For once, I was wrong. You know how when I said when a woman's sick on TV, she's pregnant? When Crystal, like, <laughs> no, she, did got and she fell over, I was like, she's pregnant. I was like, why would they write a pregnancy? And actually, the actress was just pregnant. They should have just wrote it in before. But it ended up being a brain tumor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she got brain cancer. <laughs> it's like, huh, we tricked you, Tommy. Um, I'm glad that Dominique came back. She's gr- Her and Alexis time in the tunnels the cellar? Was it the cellar? well no it's when they were trapped the in mine. the, the mine like, the mine yeah, thank you mine. thank yeah. you i thought that was really cute and fun mm-hmm. and i liked how we found out about alexis's secret daughter you know which i sure would be named amanda okay i couldn't remember because i haven't seen past the very beginning of season five of the original so i couldn't remember what the other daughter's name was um or if she's even alexis's daughter in the original she is she is yeah i thought she was blake's daughter it's just like in alexis's oh really mm-hmm. I, I think she that. like left right at like when she left she was pregnant okay but i, I couldn't remember her name i kept the name was Catherine, but that's her real name Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, maybe I subconsciously do that. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting the pieces together. You don't even realize it. I didn't, 
I didn't think Amanda because that would make me think of Melrose Place. <laughs> yep. Heather Locklear yeah. was on both shows, so it's very confusing. <laughs> I did like that they kind of threw in that little. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, I like that she was, you know, living overseas with family. So I, I wonder if like she's living with Sable or something. Ooh, I know. Wouldn't that be good? That's interesting. Because then we could finally bring Sable on. Do you think this is setting up for like the back the back half of season four, or this is like set up for season five? Like this will be like the season four cliffhanger, and they introduce all these people next season. I bet they wait till next season because mm-hmm. this season, you know, they filmed during COVID, so I bet they're like, you no, know what? Let's not introduce a lot more characters where it becomes even more complicated. Yeah, be you know, behind the scene wise. Yeah, but I hope I they bring like- Amanda on. I feel like they don't know what to do with Liam and, and that is why they kind of just like wrote him off screen for a little bit. So they mm-hmm. don't really know what to do with him. Um, I liked when his friend came and tried to hit on Fallon. And then try to blackmail her and Fallon's like, <laughs> Fallon's like, bitch, please. <laughs> you ain't blackmailing me. <laughs> um, yeah. Fallon's my favorite character, but sometimes her wittiness just feels like line after line is just like a setup for a punchline. And I'm like, okay, come on. Reel it in a little bit. (laughs) I I, I will agree with you on that. Um, As much as I love Fallon, she is, I feel like every episode before the trailer, or not trailer, the intro starts is a one-liner with her. Yeah. Before it cuts to the credits. One of the episodes I watched didn't have the credits and I was very upset. (gasps) I don't know why I'm so invested with I don't know what it is, but if there's not a title scene or intro, I'm like, oh, because I love their intro. Uh-huh. I don't know what it is. I want it to be my ringtone. <laughs> Just so I could, you know, be all dramatic. <laughs> so I answer You're the phone. whipping the long yeah. hair you don't have. <laughs> I, will, uh, I do like that we're finally using Jeff a little bit more. Jeff was in an episode where he did some IT stuff for Fallon. Mm-hmm. I forgot how they kind of work well together. Um, I like slash didn't like how they brought up they were cousins and that they saw each other naked <laughs> because I guess they well, at least got married. acknowledging it because a lot of shows would be like, oh, we're yeah. making you know <laughs> Dallas, Dallas for example, you know season one's all about Lucy and Ray and then found out Ray's actually a Ewing, so it's oh. <laughs> We pretend that, that's part of the dream season. <laughs> I don't know. They're lucky that I'm still watching. Usually that'll turn me off to a show. <laughs> <laughs> but they do it in a comedic way. Yeah. I'm they like, don't play the, so funny. <laughs> we're in the South. <laughs> so it's, a, you know, kind of that type of thing. Yeah. Um, I, I'm really enjoying um, Calhoun and um, Sam. Yes. No. Well, um, yes, but no, uh, that's not what I was going to say. <laughs> I, got, I got excited too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Callie and Jeff's friendship. Okay. Mm-hmm. Even when they were like competing for that girl's affection, they were still friendly. <laughs> um, I like their bromance. Yeah, I like that it wasn't kind of like they were sabotaging each other, but it wasn't so much as sabotaging as just trying to one up. Yeah. Like they weren't trying to ruin the day. Well, I mean, I guess. Yeah, they were, I guess, but it still felt more like it went along, it made the date better. <laughs> the fireworks and the um, how do we feel about Sam cheating on his boyfriend with his ex? Well, who I totally forgot about until they showed the previously on. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's the problem. They don't you like he's not being used enough. And I like the boyfriend. I can't remember. Oh, not the boyfriend, the ex. I forgot about. <laughs> oh, the ex. I was he even on this season, or was that like last season? That was last season. I but I guess like he's done, was... right? Because they didn't really follow up with him. No, that um, I wasn't a big fan of that. No, I mean, I was glad they broke up. Because because in, in my head I'm like maybe him and Steven will get back together. <laughs> no, Steven's in the coffin. You forget. No, see that's why I actually thought of Steven because I was literally. I mean, was like, you oh, saw how upset Steven. Sam was. 
I didn't. <laughs> oh, he looked very upset. I don't feel like, even though him and Kirby are really good friends, I don't feel like he'd be that upset about Kirby. He would be that upset about Crystal. Why? There's no know. relations. Doesn't he like her? I would guess so. I mean, I would <laughs> I, they don't really share scenes together. <laughs> What's sad is, as I think about this, I'm like, do I really care who's in the, like, whoever dies? Am I really gonna like feel like, oh, they dead? Do you think like, I'll be upset? Of- do you think Fallon would be that upset if Anders died? No, no. Mm-mm. Hmm. I don't think they would kill off Alexis. No, they went into too much trouble recasting her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that's why I still, when I look back to it, I feel like it has to be. Because when they talked about um, Anders and Alexis said, well, we've already lost one child. I was like, isn't Steven just in a hospital? What do you mean you lost him? You don't know where he's at? (laughs) She makes it sound like they went to the mall and just, oops, where did Steven go? Do they think he's dead? <laughs> when See, I was trying to remember, but I was like, no, he, I think they know he went crazy. Like they made mm-hmm. him seem like he went crazy. Mm-hmm. Or uh, Adam did. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. Um, I'm not really enjoying the whole Kirby and cocaine modeling thing. I mean, that's so overdone. Um, Just the model and cocaine, you know, like drugs. I was like, people do still do cocaine. I'm like, that feels like such an 80s thing. And then I'm like, oh, maybe it's a throwback because sometimes they like to pay homage to the 80s. (laughs) I'm not liking um, Ollie at all. I I liked him on Sabrina. He played uh, Lucifer. I didn't watch that show. Oh, okay. Well, he was really good playing Lucifer. I don't like him as this kind of character. Really? But I'm not a huge Kirby fan as it is. But I wasn't a huge Kirby fan the first time around. Neither was I, but I enjoy this one better. No, I do like this one better. I do like this one better. But her storylines are just kind of a lot like her bland. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I... Odyssey's really tailored to Sam, Fallon, and Adam. Yeah. Like those three get the better storylines. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I would say Alexis is kind of second tier. She gets Yeah, she, she gets some good ones. But sometimes she's not in episodes. Which so. I don't like. I I actually need this Alexis to be more like Alexis. Like you can almost tell between Nicholas Sheridan's Alexis and Elaine's elect- Alexis is very it's very different. more comedic where Nicholas Sheridan's were more was more kind of vindictive and I'm going to get my way type of thing I feel like this Alexis's outfits are more flashy and Nicholas Sheridan wouldn't have worn those outfits um, but I think it's a good thing. I like these outfits because I feel like it's just very Alexis. I don't know why I'm so caught up on this, but when Alexis is standing next to someone, I just remember Nicholas Sheridan being so tall. <laughs> and like, <laughs> this and Alexis so is like not. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to notice things like that, but that's what I'm noticing. When they were in the coal mine, Dominique brought up sleeping with Calhane. I totally forgot that happened. Really? Oh yeah, it was I for her. Think that it, she actually went through with it. Mm-hmm. Does yep. Jeff know that he slept with his mother? Probably. You think so? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would think. Yes, so. it doesn't matter. It, I can't so remember. <laughs> we watch so many soaps now that I'm starting to have to go like, <laughs> who's on what show? <laughs> yeah, who's on what? Yeah, you know, like Tommy makes me do my homework. <laughs> <I'm just laughing. laughs> you're welcome <laughs> but i will say this Don- while i still love dynasty i miss the feel of season one like season one knocked it out of the park which I maybe like two. it was okay <laughs> well, it was on me, almost. but i do feel uh-huh. like season four is more on par of season one though 
Like, I look forward to seeing it every week. I still do. There's I like to let things I need them to accumulate to... and then binge it. There's just Makes a me... few things I need them to fix. <laughs> like Liam, uh, Kirby, <laughs> you know, a little bit more of Jeff. Because I feel like the um, Kobe's aren't represented much in as they were. Oh, no, they need to bring Monica back. <laughs> I do agree. I could I I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more more Monica. Going back to that girl that um Calhoun and Jeff were competing for. That was a really cool date to be in a hot air balloon. Right? I was like, must be nice to have money. I kept looking at the wine glasses and I was like, ooh, if you drop that and I hit somebody in the head, that would hurt. <laughs> I mean, too, too and then I was trying to see if there was like a small table there for them to sit and like have dinner because I saw like a little like tea light and I was like, but I, they were in the way. I couldn't tell. <laughs> Once again, I was more interested at the the sets we were like yeah, again julie. i was more interested in the props and the sets than i was the people <laughs> we were like julie with the horton couch i was watching that recently and she goes on and on about that couch <laughs> and i'm just like oh my god tommy and i are julie <laughs> <laughs> i was like we only why do we care so much about a couch <laughs> but um They've been letting um, Liz Gilly sing a lot. And I am for it. I I love when, when she picks up the mic, I'm there. I'm here for it. My eyes are glued to the television. I love her. I voice. like when they were doing karaoke, how she kind of pretended like she wasn't going to be able to sing, like she yeah. was going to be bad at it. Mm-hmm. And then she just like went into it. <laughs> or even like when she's running from those co- uh, security car. Oh, security security 16. Yeah. <laughs> She's really good at being a comedic actress. I do give her that. Blake I mean, Kennedy too. Comedy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When they play off each other well. They, they do play off each other very well. Uh, when Blake was firing everybody in the company. <laughs> <laughs> like cut the fat and she's all like, you cut my whole staff. <laughs> And again, I all I could think about is that this was like real life, like being that person and going home and being like, this asshole fired me. <laughs> like, how am I going to pay my bills? <laughs> I like when she was talking about her and assistant. And he's just like, you're fired. Her assistant was like, she's like, oh, my assistant loves me. He painted my toenails or something. And then he's on camera. I had to paint her toenails. At least I should get as a stapler. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> I thought it was, I'm interested to know, like, they didn't talk about anything like that with the little so, so, cyber breach. You know, like it ended kind of. Yeah, who do you think that is? Do you think it's somebody I, we know? I feel like it has to be. I don't know. <laughs> I was so sure. Oh, but not to think it's Alexis. Like she hired somebody. No, she's more worried about who her kids are dating than. Remember when she had a podcast for a minute? (laughs) Thought of us. (laughs) It's like, oh my god, we turn into Alexis. (laughs) Next, we're gonna be offering advice. (laughs) But how sad? How sad were you though that Blake didn't get? Oh well, okay. Grant didn't get airtime with, um, oh my God, oh my, her name's Laura so- Leighton. Yes. I kept waiting for it. I was waiting for them to just be like, did we used to hang out by the pool together? Or just something <laughs> just that could be, wait, didn't I see you in LA? Or just something kind of. Something. Wink, I was wink. Like, yeah. Oh, something I wanted to ask you. Her old classmate who was trying to like stop her um Fallon's classmate who was trying to stop her from building on that land that oh, she yeah. went to like Wharton with or whatever mm-hmm, mm-hmm. they said they were in the warblers together which glee is that a real thing like, I, guess it real? Is. I guess it or is are they just doing like a glee reference because she likes to sing no i'm pretty I, I think it he is was wearing like a warbler jacket when she was in his office i was like was he on Glee? Like, did I miss something? <laughs> yeah, I think I think it is a real thing. Hmm. Interesting. 
I mean, I didn't know about glee, I didn't know about glee like, clubs until glee came around. Really? <laughs> no, so, yeah, we don't. We don't. We don't have, the arts aren't really represented in the South so, a lot. Huh. We spend our money on football. <laughs> <laughs> You're so excited about that. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Is it like Friday Night Lights? In small towns, yes. <laughs> um. Oh, so again, when I thought Crystal was pregnant before the brain tumor, I was like, oh, she's pregnant by the priest. <laughs> a miracle baby. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. The they thing. See, I kept waiting for her to sleep with Blake, like right after she had slept with the priest or something. Then we would have had a who, who's the daddy storyline. Uh-huh. I'm very glad we didn't get one of those. Um, I am glad that Sam's relationship is over because I didn't really like it. I didn't either. And I'm, he wasn't a very good, stri- I'm not, nothing against, like, nothing against the, like, I don't know, that guy's not a good stripper. They should have found someone who was a good stripper to play that yeah. part. I'm just saying, I mean, because <laughs> that can't be an easy job. I mean, you know, but yeah, I was just, I didn't feel stripper vibes from him I just uh, we we were right about dominique how she was going to try and turn her mother's sketches into mm-hmm. a fashion line i like how she tried to sabotage the competition and then ended up making them win yes. <laughs> i did like how they point out ageism i thought that is so true i was like yeah you as a woman you really i mean i don't know what it's like to be in that position um like you're too young or you're too old. Like you kind of, for a woman, you have to find that sweet spot and that's just not fair. Like you shouldn't have to, I mean, Dominique had, I liked her designs. I thought, man, I knew as soon as she sabotaged the other girls, like, oh, the other girl's going to win. But the reasoning for her winning, I didn't, I was like, of course, it's all about social media following. Mm-hmm. So, um, Do you think her and Fallon are going to end up working together? Because they kind of had a moment in the kitchen when they were talking about the ageism. And I was like, either they're just going to become friends and like just like talk to each other here and there, or they're going to go into business together. Those were my two takeaways from that. I would think if Fallon is smart enough, she wouldn't go into business with Dominique because Dominique has a history of screwing over anyone she works with. <laughs> As of right now, her and Blake seem to be getting along. I do like that they're getting along. I I think it's fun that I wish they would do a little bit more stuff with them. Do you think there's more to this whole mineral rights thing? I felt like it was building to that, but mm-hmm. I I just don't like when she was burying the picture, I felt like she was gonna find something. I kept waiting. I was it like, was... oh, they're locked in this mine. They're going to find some real diamonds or something. Uh-huh. Because I think there was a storyline in season nine about like a hidden treasure or something. I like that they're taking storylines from all different seasons and just throwing them wherever they want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, no, we haven't We're not gonna wait season till, eight. We're yet. not going to wait till season nine for this one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to pop it in there. I know that's why I was hoping with Crystal's brain tumor, she's going to have that Linda, you know, Linda Evans, like through the plates. Did she have Crystal. a brain tumor in the original? I think so. Like she went had some kind of problem with her mind. I don't remember exactly what it was, but do you remember? Like she throws dishes. I didn't. I haven't seen past season five. Um, That's right. <laughs> oops. But also, I was thinking. I wonder if they're gonna do like a Rita thing. Where she had that I, I was just wondering if they were going to do that. Or maybe that's how, if they wanted to bring the original crystal back. But they don't look alike. No, what I'm saying is that crystal had a look like, has a look like or something. Who? The original crystal, the first season one crystal. She doesn't want to come back. <laughs> well, maybe she does. She's not working now. She didn't like Atlanta. Girl, it's the heat. You get used to it. (laughs) (laughs) She's not coming back. Let it go. 
I can't help it. It took me forever. It took forever for her to grow on me. And then when she finally did, she died. I'm still salty. I like season two, Crystal. But she had good hair. <laughs> you say that all the time. <laughs> That's what Talon said. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what else. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I feel like we cover quite a bit of what we've seen that we thought was worthy to call, cover. Um, How did the last episode end? Was it the cyber uh, thing? No, uh, Ollie and Kirby kissed because they both homeless. Oh, I didn't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, like, I'm like, they're a waste of screen time. <laughs> I'm like, we've got other characters that I feel like it's about time we swap out some of these characters for the later season. So that's got to be coming. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. Do you, but... think, do you think Adam's genuine? He seems like he's ter- made a turn for the good with the sheep. Oh, you don't know, remember what he talked about? He talked about pretty much killing that board member's sister if she didn't find the money for Chris, you know, the trial. Yeah, but I didn't really like take that seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's Adam. Okay, yeah. <laughs> well, let's see. He did shove his mother's face in a fire. Yeah, which is what I thought about when she was like, my baby, I'm throwing him a birthday party. I'm like, he threw your face in a freaking <laughs> fire and held you down. <laughs> but it was all for him. <laughs> and then it made you have plastic surgery to look like your sister. No, yeah, your daughter. His sister. <laughs> oh, yeah. His, I thought you meant, oh, yeah. Sorry. I said your sister, but his sister. <laughs> yeah. Which still creeps me out. So. I mean, I feel like he's made progress. He's not that Adam anymore. <laughs> no, but I still feel like we just got rid of Steven just so Adam could be there. And that's why I'm still not. I, w- I want Steven back. I do too. I and not a coffin. I know. If you're <laughs> in that coffin, I will only be glad because I was right. Otherwise, I'm not happy. I hope you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, luckily, that's been known to happen. So. Yeah, there's a 50-50. <laughs> I just wish they give some or a 90-10. I don't something. know. <laughs> like they're not giving us any clues. Like nothing in the episode. I mean, I Well, don't I really feel like they are starting to because now they're laying the groundwork with Liam and the brain tumor. And... I, I just feel like they'd get too much hate if they kill Liam off. Yeah. On Twitter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So. Plus, he's really good looking. You don't let that go. <laughs> Not on a CW show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who's not good looking on that show, though? They're all overly attractive. That is true. There's some scenes, I don't know, like sometimes I think um, Blake is starting to look a little old. But sometimes when he's wearing that suit and his hair is slicked back just right, I'm like, okay, I, I see it. Like, <laughs> okay, so Dad. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, all right, I could get behind. <laughs> or well, let, me, let me not say anything like that. <laughs> I'm okay with you looking like that. <laughs> he's all to me. He's always been good looking, though. When he's all dressed up, to, especially, mm-hmm. I'm with you there. It happened in either the last episode or the one before it. I was like, hmm. when he was in, I think when he was working with Fallon to pitch um, whatever they were pitching, I don't know. When they talk business, I, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> we're like, we'll be the next Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they were trying to do, and they she made up that lie about some other company. Oh, okay. And then he was like, "Is that true?" She's like, "It will be when you make it." <laughs> <laughs> oh, part of his tool belt or toolbox. <laughs> I was like, "Like, like any of you know what a tool is?" <laughs> I like the whole um, hashtag old and blessed. <laughs> <laughs> It always makes me feel so much older when 
people younger than me though are getting made fun of for being old. Mm-hmm. I'm like, she ain't that old. I wish I was 25 again. <laughs> Not really. I, well, my life wasn't very great at 25, so I'm better off at 30, <laughs> 34. So, but yeah, I, I was like, I should start using hashtag old and blessed. <laughs> Or hashtag gay and blessed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll start putting hashtags on our <laughs> so, gay and blessed. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, I'm excited for the second half of the season. I am too. I feel Definitely. like once we find out who's in the co- casket, things will really pick up. We might have to do an emergency podcast for that. <laughs> just so we can see if you were right or wrong. <laughs> Alert, special breaking news. Aaron was correct. Steven is in coffin. <laughs> but then I also, I kind of think of it this way. I'm like, wait, if they do that, would they bring him back for just a little bit? If they bring him back, we know he's in the coffin. If yeah. he's in episode 12, he's in that coffin. He can't just show up dead. Like, something at that. <laughs> And it better not be just like him, like trying to escape the mental institution and getting shot. Like something good better happen. <laughs> but it's not going to be him, so we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> okay, if you say so. I do say so. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all I can got to say about Dynasty. Yeah, me too. Um, I'm looking forward to what happens next. And I'm too. Stay tuned. See you guys next time. Bye, everyone.